everyone and welcome to Makerspace. My name is Holly and I work for the Region of Waterloo Library. Today on Makerspace, I would like to challenge you to build a boat that floats using simple and basic materials you have around your home. So for this activity, please find some tin foil, wax paper or parchment paper, maybe some index cards for your sail on your boat, or you can make your sail out of wax paper, some masking tape, or rubber bands. You might need a pair of scissors, a couple of straws, and some popsicle sticks. I also have a little bit of like tacky, uh, sticky stuff that you would use to hang um, things on walls, or you could use Play-Doh, whatever you have. So your challenge is to make a boat that floats. So try making a couple of different boats. Try making one just set of tin foil and make a sail and a mast. Try making one made out of popsicle sticks and masking tape, and then make the same boat with popsicle sticks, masking tape, and wrap it in tin foil and see which boat floats better. Also, if you could gather some small um, plastic little animals that you might have, or you could use a handful of buttons or a handful of um, paper clips, something like that to act as weights. So once you get your boats built, maybe you've got a little mast and sail made, you can add some things to see how much weight your boat, your boat can support. So you will also need a bucket of water or like a shoe box or a large um, Tupperware container with a, with a decent amount of water, about halfway full, to see if your boat can float or not. All right, so this is a simple but fun um, activity to do. So for next week's session, if you could have something prepared, um, if you could gather some old CDs or DVDs and paint them. So you want to put on uh, quite a bit of paint. So you can decide whether you want to make one with a lot of paint and acrylic paints. So something like this or like Crayola acrylic paint and put on as much color, variation of color, uh, maybe do one really thick and one with just a nice coat of paint, just to see what the difference is. So what we'll be doing next week is making scratch art out of these. So once your CD is dry, you can tune in to next week and have a bamboo skewer ready for scratching or a fork or both if you have it. And then we can um, experiment and see which works better. All right, so for some more great online resources, please visit www.rwlibrary.ca and continue to follow us on your various social media feeds. Bye for now.